remember to stay hydrated. And today we are taking a look at some fantastic budget knives. This is the Send Cut Snap and the Send Cut episode. Let's get it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. My name is Brandon and I hope you're having a great day. If you're new here to the channel, I review knives, EDC gear, and then a bunch of other products. So if you're interested in seeing more, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you know when that next video is live. So like in the intro, today we are gonna be talking about these two Sencut knives. Now Sencut is a brand or subsidiary to We Knives Company. We Knives is really well known for the awesome high-end manufactured knives and they go for anywhere between you know 180 bucks and up from there. And then an even more well-known brand would be Civivi Knives. These guys were the budget kings a couple years ago and they are still fantastic knives. They're pretty much the mid-grade and now we've got Sencut knives. Sencut has been around for about a year now, and this is going to be considered their budget brand. Sencut got in contact with me and wanted to see if I would want to check out these two knives. And of course, I did say yes, but I had to let them know that I'll be 100% transparent with all of you guys. This video is not sponsored or anything like that. Just to reiterate, we've got the Sencut Snap and the Sencut Episode. Both of these are going for anywhere between $35 to about $42. I'll be leaving a link in the description below if you're interested in checking it out. And let's just go ahead and talk about the send cut snap. That is this burgundy guy right here. So it has burgundy G10 scales, 9CR18 MOV steel. It is operating off of bearings and it is a liner lock. This guy comes in at about three and a half inches. And if you guys wanna see more specs, again, I will be leaving that in the description below for both of these knives. So the snap, what are my opinions on this knife? It is pretty damn impressive. At the time of filming this video, they're going for about $35 directly off of Sencut's website. And then they retail for about $42 on Amazon. Amazon. But this knife is pretty sweet just because of its minimalistic design features. So this knife is kind of a knife that isn't really wanting to attract a ton of attention. Like you could pull this out in the office and no one's going to flip out at you. It is relatively large. And just to give you guys a quick size comparison, here is the XM18 next to the snap. They are very similar in terms of size. But if I were to pull out an XM18, this thing looks a lot more threatening than the snap. And I really do like that. As you know, I named the channel after those minimalistic aspects of designs and overall aesthetics. And on top of that, it feels great in the hand. I do wear a large glove size. So this does have some extra room here at the bottom of the handle. And even if I wanted to choke back a little bit, this will allow me to get those more batoning strikes. The biggest thing that I really enjoy about this knife is the overall action. At $42, it's really hard to get a knife with caged bearings. And with those caged bearings, it allows this thing to pretty much drop shut without fail. That is super impressive. Now this knife is gonna be competing with like CRKT, Gerber, if we're looking at Cube knives like this guy, which this is brand new, I literally just unboxed it. It fires out like a rocket, the detent is perfect. And then one thing I did wanna talk about is the lock bar for this liner lock. This is one of the negatives of the knife. So basically it's really hard to get your grip with your thumb in between the liners and to the lock bar. And I believe it's because this G10 handle kind of gets in the way. If that was just a little bit further up, then I would enjoy this knife quite a bit more. And we'll get into that with the send cut episode and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. But I think that's my biggest gripe. It's basically hard to get my finger into that lock bar insert and actually get it over to close it up. A really cool thing about the snap is the deep carry pocket clip. So it fits really nice and recessed in the pocket and you can switch it over to a left hand carry. I'm not a lefty myself, but there are a lot of people that are lefties and this will make it so that it's a lot easier to access in the pocket for the lefties. So I'm really happy that they kept that in mind. We'll talk about the conclusion of this knife in just a second, but let's go ahead and talk about this guy here, the Senka episode. This is actually my more favorable design of the two. And the reason being is because of its ergonomics. This thing fits really well in the hand and I really dig the blade shape. You have this crazy Bowie style blade shape and then this really nice contouring on the handle. It just feels really good. And that's probably the best feature of the 
this knife so far. Now it is a flipper as well. It does have a really nice liner lock. It is running on cage bearings and it does also have this deep carry pocket clip. And what really makes the episode a little bit better than the snap is gonna be this nice textured micarta scale. The micarta scale is really nice feeling and you don't really find a lot of knives in that $40 price range with this type of material. It also does have a textured micarta backspacer. I did add in this green paracord just to kind of add on to the overall aesthetics of this knife. And what I was getting at before about the snap in terms of the liner lock, this guy is a lot easier to access the lock bar to disengage. So if you look at it, let me just pull up the snap as well. The lock bar is a lot thinner here and it's harder to access, whereas on the episode, it's a lot easier to access. So that's just something that I really enjoy. So far, the episode has been my favorite out of the two, and it's actually a little bit outside of my territory in terms of aesthetics. It looks way different than any of the other knives I own. As you guys know, I do like to keep it very minimalistic, but this one just kind of talks to me for some reason. It looks cool. I mean, it looks a little bit more stabby and pokey, but in terms of ergonomics as well as the action and everything, Thing just coming in the one place, I think this is the one I would go for. Who do I think these knives are for? I believe these knives are for someone that is just barely getting into the knife collecting hobby. And the reason why I say that is because when I first started in the hobby, I started with Civivi knives. There was no send cut at the time. And you know, even dropping $50 on a knife was quite a bit for me personally at the time. Mind you, this was at the beginning of the pandemic and I was kind of just experimenting with other things, whether it be camera gear or knives or other EDC gear. And I really wanted to get my hands on something a little bit nicer. So again, I started with the Civivi Shredder. And I believe if you're in that position where you're just barely starting in the knife collecting realm and you have a few extra dollars to spend it, these would be an absolute perfect fit. Not everyone's gonna have, you know, a few hundred dollars to drop on a Benchmade knife or Spyderco or even like Hinderer and Chris Reeve. And that's gotta be the target audience that Senkut is going for. These will also be a great option as a gift. Christmas is right around the corner. And if you're trying to get your husband, father, brother, your buddy a Christmas present, these are not bad for 40 bucks. And I guarantee you, I'll be picking up a few of these for my buddies and their Christmas gifts, but this is perfect for that occasion. So I know I kept this video a little bit longer, guys. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. If you enjoyed this content, go ahead, throw me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, throw me a thumbs down. I promise to you, I will do better next time. Aside from that, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.